three, two, one. Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X, heading towards the end of the year, really. Not long to go now. Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or whatever particular festival you celebrate. This is a little tutorial and a bit of an experiment uh, which I've done based on something somebody asked on the YouTube group and uh, rather on the YouTube and even on the Facebook group. It's all about safe zones. Somebody asked the question, what happens if you've got drones in an area when you've got a safe zone and the best way to answer things like this well let's have a safe zone you can find them on the build radial underneath the good old jump drive and for a safe zone you're gonna need and around to look Bear with me a second there we go a few things one you're going to need the safe zone itself up here there two you're going to need power and the larger the safe zone, the more power you need. You're going to need a reactor. So we're going to just throw down a large reactor. And the last thing you're going to need are zone chips. And you can buy them from stations or in creative mode like me you can spawn them in by pointing at your cargo box at the back the conveyor port clicking in the right stick going to the spawn menu opening it up going all the way down to zone chips making sure they're selected Select the amount you want, or just one, and just tap it a few times. So we'll spawn one, we'll spawn two, and we'll spawn three. There's three zone chips inside. And then we need to look at enabling safe zone. So we look at the screen. Come down here. And we'll enable it. It will take... 120 seconds for it to enable. So we want a safe zone here that's about 70 metres. And spherical. While you're there, you can also look at your filter. And as you can see, uh, there is a player in the white list, which is me the factions which is wolf core and any faction that's in the safe zone filter there will be safe enough as long as it's a faction vehicle if you spawn a faction vehicle in to a safe zone you're fine if you spawn a random vehicle thinking oh i'm just gonna spawn in a rover or something then if it's not part of your faction when this safe zone is enabled Anything that's not part of your faction, that's not nailed down, will be unceremoniously ejected out of the zone. So that's something to bear in mind. Just waiting now for the safe zone to actually enable. This is not enabled, by the way. If you watch my other tutorial on safe zones, that is not an enabled texture. That's a standby texture. You'll know when a safe zone is enabled 
in about 22 seconds you'll see and we can choose various things as well I want to want a building on this particular one because there's something I'm going to try at the same time and we also want to change from the default texture to my favorite which is hexagon there you go that's the safe zone is enabled so if I pull out a gun and try and shoot because shooting isn't allowed in the safe zone I can't do a single thing with that gun but building is allowed so we're just going to quickly save off this because my idea <laughs> that I had was what would happen uh, if I spawned in a bunch of drones which I'm going to use the PVE uh, drone spawner which still works on earth like but at the moment until the next update i think doesn't work on the moon that's one thing you'll find is you can't get drones to spawn on the moon at least i haven't been able to and i've tried several times to help people out in that regard uh the next update is scheduled so far for 2020 in february warfare 2 broadside and uh, Keen have uh, already teased um, the railgun. If you haven't seen that, I will leave the link to that video in the description of this one. So while we're here, and I've got your attention, there's a drone spawner out there. I'll talk about the drone spawner in a minute. What I want to do is I want to grab a light armor block grab my little base here and pull in line mode to about here and then i'm probably going to want another block there and i'm going to be a little crazy here one there one there and i'm going to pop down that. My grid now. I want to take a look at my piston. One, the piston two. I don't want to make them into a group. to do with this as well is I want to throw share inertia tensor on this and I want to set the velocity on both pistons about minus one that. and then while I'm here actually I'm going to put both pistons on to reverse. There we go. And if I've done it right, you should see that the piston pokes up through the safe zone. Now, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, Is it possible to make a safe zone defense system that can bypass the no shooting rule? Because currently, as you know, there is a no shooting rule inside this safe zone. That doesn't count for anything that can pop up outside of the safe zone. Now we could go crazy and we could make the speed on those pistons very quick indeed but what we're going to do first is we're going to pop a gatling turret on top of these pistons and if you've got the gatling turret panel facing you then the turret will be facing away like this and then we're going to put this turret um, briefly onto shoot and we're going to drop pistons onto extend. 
and hopefully, yep, there you go, the turret will start shooting. Let's put our turret back down. Duty. And turn it off, shoot all the time. Let's put the aiming radius up. Leave it on. Targeting. Jump out. And there we have our thing. So we're going to save off again. If you're unsure about how to put things into groups and so on, then as always, um, there are plenty of videos I've done. But to give you a quick refresher, because I do like to do that, bring up your control panel, choose your first item in the group by pressing A, hold down the right bumper, Choose the next one, press A again, push the left stick, do not use the D-pad, across to the right until it reaches block group, press A, choose a name, once you've got a name, come down and hit save. And you're done. That is your group. If you want to put your group onto your D-pad or onto a button or whatever, all you have to do here is hold down the direction you want then go to your groups menu by tapping the right bumper, choose the name of the group, press A on it, and choose the action. In my case, I wanted the pistons to reverse. And that's a simple 101 how to do groups again. So now, I want to see what happens if I bump up the piston velocity just a little. So, I'm thinking somewhere in the region of ah. actually, why don't I look? We've got minus five. Let's see what happens at minus. Five. Look again. Oh, that's pretty quick. That affords us a, a nice speed there for testing the next part. So, off we shoot. Across here. I'm going to try and find it. And it's hidden out here somewhere. There it is. Now this is a simple drone spawner. It consists of some blocks, a battery, and an antenna, which is called headquarters. And if you call an antenna headquarters on its name, it will spawn in drones. can take a little bit of time for a drone to spawn or one can pop straight in without a problem so let's give this drone something to shoot out shall we it should spot me i'm invulnerable because i'm in creative mode but it should stop it should spot me and start having a pop so we're gonna run over here Bear in mind, this is an answer to a question from someone on YouTube and a couple of people on the Facebook group. What happens with drones when you've got a safe zone? It's, I may decide to pick on some of my other creations as well. What it's shooting at here, apart from me. Over here. Come on. 
feel like shooting it down with a rocket launcher, to be honest. But when you enter a safe zone, it doesn't matter, it can't shoot you. Which is why a lot of people use safe zones as shields on the ships by turning their ship from a ship into a station. They would not. Our gun can actually shoot it. It may not be able to because of the distance this thing is in, and it may not be able to fire back anyway. But it's an interesting test. You can see that these safe zones protect anything inside the zone. And it's literally a case that the drone will pretty much lose interest after a while. Especially if there's other things to go and shoot. Neutrals as well. But there you have this little tutorial on safe zones and drones. And you know what? Switch out from the Gatling gun. And let's go just one or while we're here. May as well. And there we go. Ah, that's more like it. So, yep, you can have a missile defence system hidden inside a safe zone to defend yourself from pesky drone attacks. And then if you need to repair your turret, Pop it back in. As you can see, that made short work. That drone. And this particular little drone spawner here will continue to churn out these drones. Before. This makes it a lot easier. Probably need to allow repairing as well. Have a look. You know, that damage shooting, drilling, welding, grinding, and building.
we could build um, a welder inside the safe zone pointed at this as well so it could repair itself and there's all sorts of little fun things you can do and the reason this isn't doing much is that the missile turret has well and truly dealt with it there you go though that is my little video for a Sunday on safe zones drones and defense turrets and you can have a little bit of fun with your safe zone but if you want to set up a scenario where you've got lots of drones attacking and you need somewhere to run to or you want to try and protect your base from um, NPCs like these drones because that's really the only thing that you've got in Space Engineers without scripts and mods we'll see what happens with Warfare 2 broadside and eventually Warfare 3 till then though stay safe, take care, have fun enjoy the game there's a lot more to come with Space Engineers I will be doing an absolute plethora of videos when this new update drops but before then I'll be continuing on with my uh, videos we finished the large ship build apart from painting the interior which I'm not going to uh, go through I'll do that on my uh, off camera so to speak and uh, I'll probably be looking as I said on building a small survival headquarters in my survival save rather than doing a tutorial on creative we'll do it in my survival save and pick up with a new player guide on survival that way since we've still got to build some form of atmospheric little uh, scout around to look for all and uh, so on but yeah have fun bye for now <laughs>